Samsung's Galaxy S8 has been available since early 2017, so it's safe to say that we'll soon get a glimpse of the company's next flagship smartphone. While we're not expecting the sort of design refresh we saw with the Galaxy S8, rumors suggest the S9 will see some significant hardware upgrades over its predecessor, although without an official announcement from Samsung, we'll be taking everything with a pinch of salt. Image Galaxy S8 Latest News The 8th of January 2018, fresh leaks have suggested that Samsung's Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus smartphones will ship with varying RAM and storage configurations, potentially allaying concerns that the device will be restricted to 4G of RAM. The S9 will ship with 4GB RAM and options of 64GB or 128GB of internal storage, according to rumors on the Chinese microblogging site Weibo. However, the S9 Plus will use 6GB of RAM with 64GB, 128GB and 256GB storage variants. A translated comment reads, according to Insider Revealed S9, S9 will launch the following memory with S9 DDR and Flash Combo 4644128 S9 DDR and Flash Combination 6646128 the post also suggests that Samsung will be rolling out a 512GB version of the S9 Plus, but this will only be available in specific regions where demand is high enough. If true this would mean an S9 Plus that's more in line with Samsung's Note 8 in terms of spec, and will go some way to convince users that the larger model offers a more premium experience over the standard S9. Samsung is expected to unveil the S9 range at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona in February. The 4th of January 2018, Samsung's new chip brings iPhone X features to the Galaxy S9. Samsung has launched its newest flagship Exynos 9 Series 9810 processor, which will almost certainly be used to power upcoming Galaxy S9 smartphones, as well as its tablets and AI projects. The Exynos 9810 is built using Samsung's second-generation 10 nanometers FinFET process, which has been able to pack in an 8-core CPU split into two parts, four supercharged cores capable of reaching 2.9 GHz, with the other four tuned for efficiency. The new processor series promises to have improved cache memory, double the single-core performance, and 40% increased multi-core performance over the Galaxy S8 processor, the Exynos 8895. While there was no mention of the Galaxy S9 in the announcement, it's safe to say the processor will make its way to Samsung's next flagship smartphone when it releases later this year. If the company follows the same release cycle as previous devices, the US and China versions of the S9 will feature a Qualcomm 845 processor, with the Exynos powering those released in the rest of the world, as well as a notable performance increase. Users should also expect to see some more advanced machine learning based features with the new processor. The new technology allows the chip to accurately recognize people or items in photos for fast image searching and through depth sensing. Scanner uses face in 3D for hybrid face detection, according to Samsung. Security has also been enhanced, with a separate processing unit being responsible for safeguarding biometric data gathered by the chip. It also boasts a new 1.2 gigabits per second LTE modem, which promises to provide more stable data transfers over its predecessor, and better multimedia experiences with a dedicated image processing and upgraded multi-format codec MFC. Other highlights include advanced stabilization for images and videos, UHD recording and playback at 120 fps, reduced noise and blur in low-light pictures, and improved color reproduction with 64 times the number of possible tones. The Exynos 9 Series 9810 is our most innovative mobile processor yet with our third-generation custom CPU, ultra-fast gigabit LTE modem and deep learning enhanced image processing, said Ben Hur, vice president of system LSI marketing at Samsung Electronics. The Exynos 9810 will be a key catalyst for innovation in smart platforms such as smartphones, personal computing and automotive for the coming AI era. The chip represents a major shift in focus towards AI, building on a recent investment into an AI research center designed to develop the next generation of smart mobile and consumer electronics.
Galaxy S9 UK release date in the absence of an official announcement, we can only speculate on the release date. However, it's quite possible that the S9 will be announced within the next few months. The Galaxy S8 was first announced on the 29th of March, with pre-orders beginning the next day and general availability starting from the 31st of May. However, this was actually later than previously thought, so it's quite possible the S9 will follow a similar pattern. On the other hand, Korean website The Bell revealed a leaked document that suggested the S9 may be ready for Barcelona's Mobile World Congress at the end of February, although some believe we may even see a glimpse of the device at say at the beginning of January. It's also safe to assume that we'll get a larger Galaxy S9 Plus model in addition to the standard version. Galaxy S9 price While no precise figures exist just yet, what we can say with some certainty is that the S9 is going to be at least as expensive as the Galaxy S8, which released at £689, $720. Galaxy S9 display According to various Korean media sources speaking to the Bell and Yet News, Samsung has been at work developing the S9S screen since early last year, refining the S8S design with a new lamination process. Early indications suggest that the S9 may have the same edge-to-edge -edge display as the S8, including its 18.59 aspect ratio, only with curved edges on all four sides. Image leaks courtesy of industry consultant and prolific leaker Steve Hemistoffer show an almost identical design to that of the S8, although the fingerprint scanner has been moved to just below the camera. The renders seem to corroborate images leaked by a user on Chinese microblogging site Weibo. However, that set of photos also appears to show a functioning S9 with the screen turned on, as well as evidence that it will continue to opt for a headphone port. A separate report also suggested that Samsung has been working hard on nailing down its in-screen fingerprint scanner technology, although the image leaks suggest this won't be making its way to the S9. Galaxy S9 Hardware Camera If Samsung follows the same pattern as previous devices, the S9 will ship with different processes depending on the market. Both Qualcomm and Samsung have now announced the mass production of the respective chips, so it's likely the S9 will feature the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor in the US and China, with the recently revealed Exynos 9810 chip for other territories. The Snapdragon processor will ship with 8 cores, half of which will run at 2.8 GHz and the other at 1.8 GHz, offering up to 30% increased performance over the Snapdragon 835. It also promises that users will be able to record 4K video at 60 FPS. The Exynos 9810 chip boasts a 1.2 gigabits per second LTE modem, potentially offering ultra-fast download speeds, although this will depend on network availability. Samsung also claims that the chip allows for UHD video recording and playback at 120 FPS and improved color reproduction. The two new processes provide some significant boosts to facial recognition, including the ability to scan a user's face in 3D for hybrid face detection. Some speculation suggests this will be turned into a 3D scanner on the front camera, offering a new way to unlock your phone. Despite some manufacturers favoring 6GB of RAM in recent models, sources speaking to XDA developers suggest Samsung is going to stick with the 4GB found on the S8, with 64GB of internal storage. Galaxy S9 OS features Regardless of whether you get an Exynos or Qualcomm version of the S9, the device will almost certainly ship with Android Oreo, likely using version 9.0 with the Samsung Experience UI.